I didn't know when I started, I, I, when I got my degree, I wrote a sentence that you have to feel like a fish in the water, which is a Dutch saying. And afterwards I started uh, creating my own world. And I, I remember that the first workplace we actually finished was with the showroom and uh, atelier and you know, a workshop and everything was there. And we had a little party to, to, because we, we just started. We did, uh, we made uh, like a fish bowl and the new premises is like an aquarium, but it's the same, it's our own, our own environment. The transparency is quite important, of course, that's because if you put the workplace in the middle, you know, like the, the opposite of what you normally have with the products, you don't know where it's made, how it's made. In our case, you come in, you see where, you see where it's actually designed, you see where, it, where people are calling and taking care of the distribution, you see where it's produced, you see the storage, you see the showroom, so you're standing next to the product, you see everything from the product until, uh, until you, uh, you are actually if you buy it, you, you, have, you are part of the whole process, which is quite rare in a world that bankers don't even know their own product. Even if you ask it, they don't understand what they're actually selling. And it's important, uh, th the start is that we did everything ourselves, which is the opposite of specialization. When everybody asks me to a goal, I don't have a goal. It's the goal is to be in an environment which is stimulating. And, and each time it provides new products, ideas, uh, directions. So. And uh, we used a lot of old materials to, to make the new place. So, so the windows are from the buildings around the ours, which were t torn down. And this is the shop. So instead of selling a few items around, around the counter, it became a shop. And instead of a, a painting above a sofa, it became a gallery. And instead of a lunchroom, it became a restaurant. And working with young designers ended up in renting uh, uh, ateliers and we even made an event space. All the ideas we had exploded. If I can do each day what I like, it's good enough. I don't mind what will be the result. It's about the fact that you have created yeah, the, the circumstances. Every product is very tight and you know, we make it and it has to be done in half an hour, in an hour, one and a half hour. But we sell one lamp or two or five or ten, but more than ten is almost, well, that's a real success. You can't, uh, uh, you can't have a, a big or huge investment, so you have to use different techniques. So you can see how it's put together with the, you know, with the little blind, blind rivets, it's copper. You, if you take a piece of paper and, uh, and scissors, you can actually uh, put it together yourself. But it's always put together in a very uh, simple uh, and understandable manner. If you have an idea, you have to think about the whole process from the idea until the consumer. So the only real generalist in the process of all the specialists is a designer. A creative person is, is somebody who is able to think about the whole process. And I made a product, this was the first product, a stool, and I turned the world around. So I said, um, labor costs nothing, materials worth the fortune. So, so I thought, well, I make uh, products piling them up. So I always have been fascinated about the fact that people are putting an enormous amount of time in a product. So the stool was the first product I made. And afterwards, we made a table of leftovers. And one of the guys who made it, he came to me and he said, Pete, how, I'm go how am I going to finish it? And I said, well, just lacquer it 10 times because it has to be a lot of work. So he started lacquering it and sending it and lacquering it and sending it and lacquer it, which is an enormous amount of wood, like a boat. The table was finished and it was wonderful. You know, it was like it was glazed instead of lacquered. And because all the different pieces, it was like, like, like it was tiles instead of wood. And uh, all the leftovers were, went in. Each product can be very functional and very beautiful at once. And this is the, the bar of the restaurant. And uh, the bar is made of uh, uh, old tubes, which were in the factory when we bought it. For Art Basel, where we were also were invited, I made the, the, the construction uh, uh, pipe or tube set. And it's also made of the same container. We still have some, most of it is sold. Because the funny thing is, it was an idea at that moment. But later on, during the, fair, the, the Milano Fair and Art Basel, we sold uh, uh, quite a lot of these pieces. So I would say that a creative person and all creative persons should be more uh, provocative and, and, and stand up and take their place on a higher level. So a lot of people come to us and they are uh, uh, 
astonished about the size and they say, how is it possible so big, so ambitious and so this and so that? And I say, I don't give a shit about the size. The only thing what really matters is the fact that it's my place where I can do what I do and, what I, and each day I go there, I'm happy. If that's the case and I don't know actually what will come out, it doesn't matter. That's the funny thing. If you, it's the same thing. If, if you do something, something will happen. You know, if you don't succeed, but you did something, it changed anyhow a lot. And this is a, a little shed, tree trunk shed, uh, at the side of a field. And uh, it's made for a, a writer, and he writes here. And that's for me the, the, the real story, is that you know, if you feel like a fish in the bowl, it doesn't matter if it's a fish bowl, an aquarium, or even the sea. It's about the fact that you create your own environment, which is stimulating. 